Hey, beauty, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but what if on average or more like above average of the beholders all agreed that one certain trade made you more attractive than anything else. Wouldn't you want to improve that to the best of your capabilities? Yes, I'm talking about your smile. This is a secret weapon that if you master it to make sure it looks genuine and deploy it whenever you need it, you're going to become a complete chick magnet. And there ain't no one who's going to stop you. As for the science behind why it makes you so attractive is that we're social creatures and biologically we're built to scan for social cues on others looking for safety and welcoming. You smile it's a universal signal of warmth, approachability, and attractiveness. Today, I'm going to show you how you can hack your smile to make sure it's attractive, it's genuine, and it makes you look like a stud. Let's hop into it. Number one, smile, but in the right situation. Yes, smiling more often, it can make you look more attractive, but when it's used at a context, it can actually work against you. For example, if you're in a business meeting and you're constantly smiling, it's gonna make you seem unreliable and untrustworthy. While when you're in a social event, you're gonna to wanna to smile as much as possible so you can exude your confidence and positivity onto others. Number two, make sure your teeth aren't yellow. As humans, we're looking for social cues. When your teeth are yellow, this is a universal sign of either bad hygiene or bad habits, both of which are deemed unattractive. So it doesn't matter how good your smile is, if it's yellow, automatically you defeated that great smile and now you look unattractive. You need to make sure that you're brushing your teeth at least two minutes in the morning and at night. This is the ADA standard. This is what dentists recommend. What I like doing is since I use my electric toothbrush from our sponsor Dazzle Pro, I already know it's on a timer. The beauty of this toothbrush is that since it's an electric toothbrush and it vibrates, it vibrates on 30 second intervals. So I know that by the first, fourth interval, I've done my two minutes and my teeth are nice and clean. This is why I've recommended to you guys, you need to get an electric toothbrush. Every time I go into the dentist, which is another thing I recommend, going to the dentist to make sure you're getting your teeth clean and removing the plaque, well, anytime you go in, they always recommend for you to hop onto an electric toothbrush. Not only is it gonna make sure you're doing your two minutes, but also it's more efficient at removing the plaque, removing the stains, and making your, sure your teeth are actually white. This is because an electric toothbrush, like this one from our sponsor, does about 30,000 brush strokes a minute. Now, the cool thing with this electric toothbrush on top of that is that it has various modes of cleaning and and also it has a UV station that allows you to kill any bacteria on the heads of your toothbrush. That way every time you use it, you're not reinfecting your mouth with any, with any bacteria and you're using a completely desanitized brush head. Now this toothbrush kit, yes, it is a little bit expensive, but for you guys right now, they're gonna be offering a 75% discount, which is completely insane, but it doesn't stop there. Like I mentioned, everybody has a natural level to get to their whitening. Your teeth will never be pearly white naturally. For that, you're gonna need a teeth whitening kit. Here's what they're gonna do for you. They're gonna throw in that for free. If you guys wanna check out the whole bundle, like I said, It'll be linked down below. Number three, you want to practice your fake smiling. Here's what you need to understand. The human brain, it can differentiate between a fake smile and a genuine smile. However, the brain can pick up certain facial cues to know that the person smiling is either feeling awkward or smiling out of awkwardness. So your goal should be to practice your fake smile so whenever you deploy it, you're not smiling out of awkwardness and it's gonna look so good, people are gonna think it's genuine. Because here's what happens, when you smile, even if it's a fake smile, but if it's a good one, it tricks the part of the brain that's associated with happiness. This ends up releasing endorphins in their brain, which rolls on to number four. There's different types of smile. Now, universally speaking, the sideways smile is usually the most attractive of both men and women. You also want to get down a smize down pack. A smize is when you activate the muscles around your eyes and around your mouth to use full facial muscles for a complete smile. You probably have heard this reference to more as smiling with your eyes. Number five, Think of what makes you smile. Now this hack is pretty easy. If you're having trouble developing a fake smile that looks genuine, then make it genuine. Most of us have stories or ideas or things that make you smile, whether it's a comedian or an event or something that might have happened to you. Well, when you're practicing in the morning, think of that. And finally, number six, you want to use lip balm. Now personally, I always like to carry a lip balm with me everywhere I go because just like yellow teeth, no matter how good your smile is, if you have crusty lips, it just sends cues letting the other person know that you don't have good grooming, that your lips are crusty, that they're all rough. 
meaning your smile is now less attractive than what it could have been. There's no manly way to put on lip balm. The lip balms that you'll find in the stores, it's kind of feminine. It looks like you're putting on lipstick. Well, we wanted to fix it. This that you see here, this is for Hudson and Maine. This is our first sample for Hudson and Maine of a lip balm we're developing. It's infused with botanicals and natural ingredients that are healthy for your lips. It smells amazing and the can is actually manly. This is a cool thing that you can carry around as a dude. You can easily grab some lip balm on your, on your fingertips, apply it, and your lips are moisturized. This, boys, will be coming very soon and we're probably gonna put it in a matte black tin case. It's pretty cool, right? And that's pretty much it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are six things that you can do to hack your smile so it can be more attractive. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Dazzle Pro. If you guys want to check out that electric toothbrush plus whitening kit bundle, it's a ridiculous deal. I don't think it's going to last, but it'll be linked down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.